Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing this sooty, smoky eye and tousled, just textured hair to get a really sexy runway look. I'm working with Priceline Pharmacy on this video. As you guys know, every year I get involved in the VAMFF Festival, which is the Virgin Australian Melbourne Fashion Festival. And every year Priceline Pharmacy are the ones who set the hair and makeup trends with their makeup director and hair director. And today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is for regular people to get the same look as a supermodel on that catwalk. And so I'm really happy with how this came out. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. Just keep watching. Firstly, because I'm doing my eyeshadow first, I'm going to prime my lids with a little bit of foundation. The foundation that I'm planning to use later. So I'm taking a black pencil and messily putting it all over the waterline. Look how messy and careless I'm being, but that doesn't matter. I don't think this eyeliner sets, but... I'm going to blend it out before I move to the other eye anyway. Like that. Repeat to the other side. Then I've got this cute little quad which has some really good colors for this look. I'm gonna take this crease color, pack it all over a blending brush. I'm gonna take that all the way up into the crease and all over the lid at the same time. Take it under my eyes to just help smudgen out. Is smudgen? Smudgen is totally not a word, but it definitely describes exactly what I'm trying to do here. So smudgen that out. I really like that. Guys, cool tones are so underrated. I really wish more people would use cool tones. I feel like everyone's always all about the warms and cool is cool again, okay? Take a mini brush. They call this shade the liner shade, but it's just the black. Press that over the eyeliner so that it gets a bit blacker again. This face, very necessary. I've got this big old chubby brush and it's really good to make sure that there are no harsh edges to your blending. If you're a little bit bad at blending like I am, just a little bit. Powder. I'm gonna take a banana powder, put that up on the brow bone to mattify it. That little brush that had the black on it, I'm going to flip it over and take the silver. And I'm going to pat that onto the center of the lid. Going to mix the black and the gray on the inner corner there. Trusty old mascara. If you feel obliged, you can let them get clumpy because spider lashes is another trend. Let's mattify this face of mine. Buff that in. My skin feels a lot smoother now. Gonna take the foundation from earlier. Same old brush. And then I'm just buffing and patting it into the skin. Time to conceal. Get those little dark areas in there. Just under the eyes and any spot concealing that you need to do. This is the part where you can really fix up the angle of that wing. I'm gonna take my beloved banana powder. As you'd all know by now, I co-created this palette and it's awesome. I use that everywhere that I wanna brighten or even mattify. So for now, let's just put that in my T-zone. I'm gonna add a touch of bronzer just to where the sun would naturally hit. I've got this baked blush by CoverGirl. It's a nice pastel pink with a bit of glow. Ooh, that's nice. I haven't used this one in a while. Now I'll take the highlighter from my palette. I love this stuff. Just got my hand on this lipstick. It's a really pretty nude from Rimmel. Take my finger, 
Don't want it to look too perfect for this look. This is the completed makeup look, guys. When it comes to doing hair, I just make sure it's dried. I put it back into a little bun where I started out as a ponytail. Tie it really tightly and then the last loop, you don't pull it all the way through. So I let it sit there like that to make a kink like that. So it will have three kind of kinks in it. Take some hairspray. This one's by Tresemme. I just kind of spray it. I'll add the sea salt spray now. This one's also by Tresemme. It's the Perfectly Undone range. And I let it just sit there like this for a while. If you want, you can go blow dry it. So I'm going to go blow dry it to get it nice and warm to set it in that spot. And then I'll come right back. So it's been there at the base of my head quite tight for a little while. You just pop it out. It'll look a bit too sleek right now. So I take some dry shampoo, put that in there. This is honestly often how I make my hair kind of like that. <laughs> I'm not really explaining this very well. But it's often how I will make my hair have the kink. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love it. I think cool toned smoky looks are so underrated and I also love it with the hair. So thank you Priceline Pharmacy for sponsoring this video. I love you guys and I love working with you guys. They have every product you could need to achieve any of the trends this year. And I'll put the links below for all the products as well as the trends. They have all of the other trend looks online as well, priceline.com.au, but I will link them under there. Or if you want, you can go in store and see a trained beauty advisor as well. Thank you guys for watching. Really, it means so much. I love to spend time with you and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon.